Hello friends, I got back once again. Uh, in previous videos, we saw few uh, trigonometric expressions limit we find out which were in the sine form. Uh, or now, in this video, we are doing a little bit different that is in the cosine form, right? And cosine is here, limit x tends to 0, cosine of x over the pi minus x. We need to find out the limit of this expression. So how to find out that, right? And here again, I want to tell you, cos problem, generally, I feel easier. I don't know uh, whether you'll feel or not. Uh, I feel a little bit easier. Uh, let's see here. If you just plug the value of x as it tends to 0, then cos 0 it will be, and cos 0 is actually 1, right? And pi minus x tends to 0, so it will be 0. Pi minus 0, that will be pi. So on my pi directly, you're getting the answers, right? But you cannot do that much uh, directly uh, in the fr in initial stage of uh, solving limit problems. So I'm giving again here standard result. That is limit when theta tends to 0. I meant to say when angle angle tends to 0, cosine of the angle that is theta will be 1 because cosine of 0 will be 1 right so here there is no problem at all and uh, we can proceed easily right so limit when x tends to 0 here x is the angle of the cosine right cosine of x times uh, 1 divided by pi minus x I'm a little bit separating here pi minus x okay so here, if you just compare this whole quantity, this whole quantity with this part, right? When limit x tends to 0, I mean angle tends to 0, cosine of angle is equal to 1. So I can put it here 1 and then times 1 over pi by x, 1 over pi and minus z. x tends to 0, I already, just, uh, uh, we have already uh, plugged the value now here. So it will be 1 minus pi, uh, sorry, 1 divided by pi minus 0. So now it is. 1 over pi, that's our answer, right? Like this, you need to find out. And a little bit more complex problem, let's do in another problem. Please, if you like the video, please subscribe me. That will really motivate me, and I will try to make more videos. All right? Goodbye.